Hello friends. Today I'll talk to you about a very important topic SIADH that is syndrome of inappropriate secretion of ADH. So before we discuss this topic, what is the hallmark of this condition? The most important feature of this is hyponatremia. That means serum sodium is less than normal. What is the normal serum sodium? Normal serum sodium is 135 to 145 milli equivalent per liter. And, and as I told you, the serum sodium is less than normal in this condition. So serum sodium is usually less than 135 milli equivalent per liter okay now let's learn if osmolality is around 280 less amount of ADH is secreted so more and more water goes out but if osmolality is 300 more and more ADH will come and more and more water will be absorbed it means in that shell ADH secretion is dependent on plasma osmolality. Okay, less osmolality means uh, less ADH, more osmolality is more ADH. And ultimately, it is going to maintain the normal plasma osmolality. Okay, this is a basic physiology of, of ADH secretion. So, carry home message is ADH absorb only pure water and its secretion is dependent on the plasma osmolality. Now, what happened in SIADH? In SIADH, excess of ADH comes. Excess of ADH is coming, which is independent of plasma osmolality. Okay? Independent of plasma osmolality, more and more ADH, and that will lead to hyponatremia. How come? Let's take an example. I have a glass. It contained 100 ml of water. And it also contained 100 ml of salt. The concentration of salt shall be 1 milligram per ml. Now if I add 100 ml water more, volume becomes 200. The concentration goes to 0.5 milligram per ml but still this glass has 100 milligram of salt the sodium concentration went down due to excess of water added so excess of water is causing hyponatremia so in SIADH also same thing happened in X, SIADH also same thing happened that there is increase free water retention. Increase free water retention. This is due to increase ADH. I hope you understood why excess of water will be there and why ultimately it lead to hyponatremia it lead to hyponatremia. Second point is, as per this example what I give you, the patient should be hypervolumic. But in fact, the patient is euvolumic. Euvolumic. Now, it is, you'll be surprised. How come patient be euvolumic when excess of ADH is coming, excess of water coming in? Yes. The U volume occurs because as the excess of water come in, body compensates by reduce aldosterone. Reduce renin. Excess of ANP and excess of BNP. With all these four mechanism body continues to lose 
सोडियम एंड वाटर इन द यूरिन तो बॉडी कीप्स ऑन लूजिंग सोडियम वाटर दैट्स वाई एंड दिस लीड टू दिस मेक्स यू वॉल्यूमिक यू वॉल्यूमिक सेकेंड इज पेशेंट इज यू वॉल्यूमिक बिकॉज ऑफ दिस मैकेनिज्म ओके सो नेट रिजल्ट इज नेट रिजल्ट इज यूरिन सोडियम is more than 40 milli equivalent per liter this is the dac is one of the characteristic feature any random urine sample if it is more than 40 milli equivalent per liter is highly suggestive of siadh just to inform you in a normal urine sample the urine sodium is less than 20 milli equivalent per liter but in in siadh it is 40 more than 40 milli equivalent per liter and even urine osmolality urine osmolality in siadh is more than 100 milli osmol per liter and in a normal person it is less than 100 milli osmol per liter so what we learned at the moment is so let's revise what we get it patient is hyponatremia serum sodium is reduced Number two, patient is U volumic. Urine sodium is more than forty equivalent, and urine osmolality is more than hundred milli equivalent, hundred uh, milli osmol per liter. Okay, now let's see what are the causes of SIADH causes. There are hundreds of causes. You no no need to remember. Not possible to remember. but you don't have to forget some important causes small cell lung cancer small cell lung cancer and hypothyroid subarachnoid hemorrhage chest infection Here with S H you can also write head injury. H I stand for head injury. Chest infection means T B pneumonia, and certain drugs like vincristine, cyclophosphamide, they are some of the very important thing that you got to remember okay important causes now how patient come to us the clinical feature of these patient are it depend on also depend how fast this sodium concentration has gone down i told you normal level is 135 If patient develop, patient will have lot of symptom. But the patient, one patient, other patient has even up to one twenty two. But it is developing over days. Then he may he may be if symptomatic. So carry home message is symptom depend not only on the sodium level, but also how fast it has developed. Now, with this background. sodium low sodium concentration has only cns manifestation why it is so important to talk they don't have any cardiac problem rather in potassium we mainly have arrhythmias are more common and in sodium disturbance we have more of a more of a, a cns disturbance why is it so this is the brain cell brain cell if if serum so if serum sodium goes down more and wa more water enter and that lead to brain swelling of the brain cell brain cell swelling occur and that lead to all cns manifestation initially patient may be having fatigue malaise later on 
patient may even develop seizures later on coma and in extreme cases even death can be there so what i mean to say see feature are only of cns manifestation are there okay so now how to diagnose that in the case of siadh the test is of course we will do serum sodium serum osmolality urine sodium urine osmolality will do it and and we do water loading test water loading test how it is done we call the patient fasting in the morning and we will give him 20 ml per kg of water to be taken over a period of 20 to 40 minutes okay this much water he has to take in next half an hour or 40 minutes and in a normal person in the next 4 hours more than 80% of the water comes out as a urine suppose is a man of 50 kg 50 kg means and car 20 ml we will be giving him 1000 ml then the next 4 hour he will be passing more than equal to 800 ml of the water he will pass if it is occur this is normal but if the amount of urine is less than 80% then he is a case of siadh but the most confirmatory test is serum adh level is the most accurate test to confirm siadh so we have the patient with us how to manage this case if the patient is asymptomatic then the best initial treatment is best initial treatment is restrict water intake if we restrict the water intake gradually peshka as we are losing water from the skin and stool and all this thing ska we are losing uh, water sodium concentration will rise automatically but if the patient is this is especially when the mild when the patient has mildness features are there but if patient has severe problem he has altered sensorium seizure and coma in that condition of course we will restrict water intake but we will also like to give hypertonic saline hypertonic saline 3% saline is given to be given very slowly what is the definition of very slowly that the sodium concentration should ride just 1 to 0.5 to 1 milli equivalent per hour the rise of sodium should be very very slow it should not be more than 0.5 to 1 milli equivalent per hour suppose now right now it is 120 after 1 hour it should be 121 and after 1 hour it should be 122 this is a slow infusion if you would give rapidly it can lead to central pontine demyelination that's why it should be given very slowly and of course in acute cases only we can also give injection conivaptan it is a anti adh drug but this is used only in acute cases because it's a come in a injectable form But in chronic cases, we will give capsule demyclocycline. This also blocks the action of ADH and it will induce nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. NDI stands for nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. It will block the action of ADH in tubule, so and so more and more water goes out. but this is given in colic form it is a oral tablet 
oral capsule. But this is the injection. This we give only in acute cases. So a quick revision of what we learned today. We talked about SIA, DH. The hallmark is hyponatremia, euvolumia. And there is increased urinary sodium and increased uh, urine osmolty. Serum sodium and serum osmolty is reduced. The clinical features are related to CNS, fatigue, seizure, and coma. And of course, water loading test is done. In the treatment, restrict water intake. In severe cases, hypertonic saline or injection conivaptan, uh, but in, in chronic cases, we give uh, demiclocycline. Thank you, watch, uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to see any particular topic, you don't hesitate to send me the uh, your message by messenger. I'll surely include your topic, and I have recorded many previous lectures which are there in YouTube. Uh, you can see all these things. And please keep on sending me the usual feedback so that we can do as per your choice. Thanks again for watching this video. Thank you very much.